What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the Kaitera Sense Edge Mini Type 3 sensor from Planet Watch. We're going to be unboxing this, setting it up, and getting it connected to our Planet Watch account. So, if you just got your Type 3 sensor and you need to know how to set it up, this is exactly the video for you. Or, if you're just curious about how these sensors actually work, and how you actually set them up, because maybe you have one coming soon, or you're on the line about getting one pretty soon here, or if you're just curious and just want to watch the video, but either way, Anyway, let's go ahead and get into unboxing this, seeing everything that comes inside of this box, and then we'll jump into getting it all set up. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. I do like the packaging on this, by the way. Uh, pretty standard packaging here. On the back, it just tells you everything that's supposed to come with it. Nothing too intense there, uh, but it is clean packaging, so we'll go ahead and just slide this on out. I just received this literally today, so let's see what we got inside of it. Make sure it's not just like a brick. You got an instruction book and all the other kind of good stuff in here to help you, you know, start getting everything all set up. So, there you got that right in there. Now, inside, guys, this is what we're really here for, right? There is the Sense Edge Mini right there with your two little modulars that it comes with. So, go ahead, pull this out of the box and go ahead and just unwrap this guy. Pretty nice, guys. This is actually a lot smaller and a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this, but... I am completely pleased with this, and this will actually be going on my wall in my kitchen, so I am happy that it looks really clean and looks really sleek. And then on the bottom here, you have your air vents right here and on the top as well. So when this is mounted, it can be laid flat like this. It is important to note that, but it should not be laid like this or like this or anywhere where it's going to be blocking one of these ports on either the top or bottom because that is obviously how the airflow gets sucked in and pushed out to actually diagnose and tell you what's in your air. So we'll go ahead and put this right here for now. So this one right here, the silver one, is our particulate matter uh, little module right here. Then we have this one. This is the TVOC module right there. Got your mounting plates right here. Pretty basic, pretty generic mounting plates. And then down underneath, we have our little power cube right here. And that is actually nice. It comes with quite a few different options uh, that you can obviously put onto your thing. So depending on where you live and whatever, I am in the US, so I'll just be using this guy right here, the standard guy right here. But yeah, it looks like you have a few different European versions and all this other good stuff. So screw on just like that, perfect. Just a basic USB-C power cord as well. So that is all you get in the box. You get a few of those different little adapters depending on where you live, obviously. Like I said, then you get some mounting hardware as long with some uh, wiring stuff. I guess if you were to hardwire it through your wall as well. That's what that looks like. Then you got your cable here. You got your instruction manual, your mounting plates. But there it is, you guys. Really clean looking. Really, really light. Seriously, like really light. And uh, let's go ahead and go get this all set up, download the Kaitera app, and also get this link to our Planet Watch app. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is get our modulars installed. And that is these little modulars right here. We gotta get those installed. But first we need to pop off this front cover right here. Now you will see right on the top here, there is this little bit of lip here. So all we're gonna do is gently pop that open just like that. And now that we have this open like this, you can see that we have an on off button. Obviously I'm covering my serial code and all that stuff. We have a status button and the reset button. So right here in these slots guys, this is where we are going to be plugging in our modules. Now, before we do that though, we need to actually plug this into a power source before we install the modules. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay you guys, so now all we have to do is take our power cord here, which is obviously plugged into the wall. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in nice and firm there, then flip that switch to on. Now we'll get this red status light and boom, just like that, now we have the green status light. Now, we need to go ahead and install these modules. It is recommended that you do this while the unit is on. So make sure you do it while the unit is on. It might not be a big deal, but just go ahead and do it while the unit is on. So these do not matter which place you put this. I could put that one on this side, this one on this side, vice versa. It's not going to matter. What does matter though, is that the pins right here are facing up and that your tags with the logo are facing you. So go ahead and these are pretty easy to get in. All we're going to do is just snap that right down. You should get a status light. And if it does not continue blinking, that means you are good. And we'll go ahead and snap that one in. We get that status light. 
and it is off. So we are all set. Now we can go ahead and move on to actually pairing this to the app and pairing it to the Planet Watch app as well. So let's do that. Okay, so now what we need to do to get this paired is we need to go to our App Store, Google Play, or your Apple App Store and type in the Kaitera app. Now you're looking for this one, the Kaitera Enterprise. Go ahead and click get. Now we'll go ahead and open up this app. It's gonna take us to some user agreements. We'll click accept. And now it says to set up your device, open your network settings, and look for a Wi-Fi network. So we're going to go over here. We're going to open up our Wi-Fi network, open it up again, and we are trying to connect to the device. And right here, here it is, the Kaitera SE200. So we'll go ahead and click connect. We'll come back. We'll see that and verify that we are connected to it. And now we can go ahead and click configure and we're going to go ahead and allow it access to connect to devices on the network. Okay. So now on this page, you're going to get a whole lot of information here on the device details. Obviously this is all going to be blurred out for me. We'll have something called the UDID. Now with this, what you need to do is make sure you copy that because you are going to need that later. Great. So now that we have that copied, what we're going to do is click configure and now you can go ahead and say where this is. So I'm going to say my home sense edge. And the room, it's going to be in the kitchen. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and click that we want this connected to Wi-Fi because that's how we will have it connected. And then right here, it says your SSID. Now your SSID is just your Wi-Fi name. So if your Wi-Fi network name is Rocket Ship, then that is exactly what you would type in here. Now you need to make sure when you type this in, it is case sensitive. Type it in exactly how it appears on your Wi-Fi settings. Then we can go ahead and scroll down here and we'll want to make sure that sleep mode is not checked and that disable configuration mode is also not checked. You don't need to worry about resetting any baselines here, so don't worry about it at all. I'm going to go ahead and type in my Wi-Fi name. Once you enter in your Wi-Fi network name, it will then prompt you to also enter in your Wi-Fi network password. Go ahead and do that too and make sure you enter it in exactly how you would if you were connecting any other device to your Wi-Fi. Okay, now after letting that go for a little while, you will get a slow flash in green, which means it's trying to pair. If it turns red, if your status light turns red, that means it has failed pairing. So it will slow flash green for a little while there. If it does not and it flashes red, retry and start the process over again. If it has succeeded, your status light will turn completely off. So now we can go ahead and snap that faceplate back on. Now that we have the faceplate back on, let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the setup. Now to finish off the rest of our setup here, we need to go to dashboard.kaitera.com. Now, if you don't have an account already, go ahead and click sign up. Now I'm going to be using the exact same email that I also use that when I bought my Planet Watch licenses. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account. Okay. Now that we're logged in, it will send you an activation email. Go ahead and click activate and then log in. Now, right here, we're going to click add device. And you can go ahead and set what you want to call it. I'm going to keep it as personal device. And now you need to use that UDID that I told you to copy earlier inside of the app. So go ahead and paste that in here now. Okay, now that we have added that, you will see it pop up right there. And if you want to take a look at your air quality, you go ahead and just click on that little arrow right there. It will load up a page here and you can see all the scores for your room and everything. And obviously, you know, I just barely set it up, so I'm not going to have any really data here because it probably will end up pushing a quick firmware update for you. So just give it a little bit and it'll, it'll be calibrating and all that other good stuff. So now you need to go ahead and open up the Planet Watch app. So now we're inside. You can see I already actually have two sensors already paired. I have my aware element and also my Atmo. But I'm not going to be adding this just yet because I want to create a brand new wallet separate of these just because it is a little bit easier for me to be able to monitor each individual sensor to make sure everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on wallet. I'm going to go ahead and click on this little plus up here and I'm going to create a new account. Now make sure you name this appropriately. I'm going to name this the Kaitera Home Sensor. Then it's going to pop up with your seed phrases. Make sure you write these down on a hard copy somewhere. Don't keep these inside of your phone or anywhere digital. Make sure these are all written down somewhere, completely safe. If you ever lose these words, there is literally no way to recover them. So write it all down. Okay, now we should be ready to go ahead and onboard this sensor. As you see, we have our little wallet down there for the sensor. So we'll go ahead and click over here on the sensors page, click the little plus at the top, 
click on type three, and now we need to insert the token ID and the device ID. So to get your token ID, you're going to go back to the Kytera dashboard. Now, once you're in, you'll click your little person icon in the top right, and you're gonna click on your settings, and you're gonna click generate API key. It's going to give you a key. You'll go ahead and you'll paste that in there. And now you need your device ID. So you can also grab that from your Kytera dashboard. So we'll go back to dev devices. You'll click your little information button right there. And right under device information, that will be the number you need. That's also your UD ID that we just barely use. So go ahead and copy that. You'll come back to Planet Watch, you'll paste that in, and then you'll click Proceed. Now you can pick which wallet you want to pair that with. I'm gonna pair it with the Home Sensor wallet I just created, and now you need to go ahead and enter an address information. And there you go, guys, there you have it. So, as you can see right there, it says License Added Successfully. So, we can go ahead and click View Sensors there, and now we can see right here, it pops up, our Kytera. So, pretty easy setup there, guys, and now it is also paired into our wallet. Now, I'm going to show you how you can actually check and verify that your Kytera sensor is online and sending data. Go ahead and go to your dashboard.kytera.com. You go ahead and you click into your sensor, and here we can see that our sensor is online and it is regularly reading data, which is exactly what we want to see. Also, what we're looking for is this right here, last updated five seconds ago. That lets us know that this is currently online and sending data just fine. Now, there is one really cool thing you can do. Up here, you click on this alerts button. And what we're doing here is that you can set specific alerts. So for pollutant levels, temperature ranges, or what we're really interested in is if this goes offline, because we want to know if it goes offline. So go ahead and click on create alert. For the name here, I'm just going to name this offline because that's what we want to know here. I'm going to select my device, click next. Then it's going to give you an email that you would want to be notified at. You can add another email right there. Then go ahead and delete the overall index. Click select, scroll down to where it says offline. Then just click this little plus button and click save. And that easily you have an alert set up. Now, the next thing you do to make sure you're sending data to the plan watch is you're going to want to copy the wallet address of wherever you put your Sense Edge Mini. So whatever wallet that one is in, go ahead and copy that address and then go to the algoexplorer.io. This is the Algorand Blockchain Explorer, guys. It shows you any and all transactions happening. And all you need to do is paste in your wallet address right here at the top. As you see, I already have mine pasted in. Now, when you scroll down, you can see that this is actively sending data. You should be getting a data stream like this every single hour. As you can see, I am every single hour. Just had one a couple minutes ago. And just about seven hours ago, I received my planet payments for the day previous. So there you have it, you guys. It is that easy. That is exactly how you tell if you are actually online and if you are sending data to Planet Watch. So I hope you found this video very helpful. So thanks for watching. If you need any more help, make sure to check out my other videos on Planet Watch where I walk you through other steps. For example, like how to buy a Planet Watch license step by step. So make sure you check out my channel for any other tutorials and I'll catch you on the next one.